Here's the big challenge of life. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. That's the challenge. And of course, the other side of the coin reads, unless you change how you are, you'll always have what you got. I have found in my experience that income does not far exceed personal development. Now, sometimes income takes a lucky jump, but sure enough, unless you grow out where it is, it'll usually come back where you are. Life has strange ways. If somebody hands you a million dollars, best you become a millionaire quickly. So you get to keep the money. Otherwise, sure enough, it'll disappear. Somebody once said, if you took all the money in the world, divided it up equally among everybody, it would soon all be back in the same pockets. Incredible. Success is something you attract, not something you pursue. Success is looking for a good place to stay. So instead of going after it, you work on yourself. Personal development. See, the major question to ask on the job is not what are you getting. The major question to ask on the job is what are you becoming? See, the big question is not what am I getting paid here. The big question is what am I becoming here? Because true happiness is not contained in what you get. Happiness is contained in what you become. I hear a knock on my door one day, and I go to the door, and there's a little girl about this tall selling Girl Scout cookies. And she gave me the big pitch on Girl Scout cookies. Finest organization in the world. Got these cookies, only $2. Support the Girl Scouts. No problem, I wanted to. And with a big smile, she politely asked me to buy. I didn't want to buy. Big problem. I didn't have $2 in my pocket. So I thought, I can't tell her that. So I thought, well, next best, I lied to her. And I said, look, I've already bought lots of Girl Scout cookies. I've still got plenty in the house that we haven't eaten yet. She said, well, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. And she leaves. When she leaves, I say to myself, I don't want to live like this anymore. I mean, how, how low can you get lying to a Girl Scout? I mean, that's, that's as low as it gets. So I promised myself that day it would never happen again. So I started searching for opportunity very quickly met another man who drastically changed the course of my life. His name was Mr. Earl Schoff. You that have listened to my cassettes and read the books and are acquainted with my material know the name Mr. Earl Schoff. He's the one that introduced me to health and nutrition as a product. I'd been practicing it, you know, for a long, long time, thanks to my mother. One of those great influences in my life, my mother, who studied and practiced health and nutrition so I've been healthy all my life. Needed to lose a few pounds, or gain a few pounds when I found Herbal Life. You know, I've been skinny all my life. In high school, I turned sideways. They called me absent. I mean, I, I was skinny. But sure enough, I get a hold of Herbal Life, gain those extra pounds that have served me so well now to travel the world. So my mama was a great influence on my life. 